you get to be yourself here. You get to test new ideas and new theories and try different things and improve on what we've already done because the resources are there for you to do that. And I'm at the point right now where I get my greatest satisfaction for watching my people succeed and watching them grow as people and promote and groom and mold them into what Broomfield expects us to be. We are unique in many respects. First of all and foremost, we value our staff above all else. Where most jails are there for one purpose, which is to contain inmates. We take a different approach in that our staff are our most valuable asset. We give them the tools, the salary, the benefits to keep them here long term. So we have a very, very low turnover rate, less than one third of what the national average is. And more importantly, we treat our inmates like they're citizens. They're not just a number because we know that ultimately 95% of them are going to go back into our communities. So it's important that we treat them with respect and dignity and we get them in a place that is better than how we got them. The culture here in Broomfield is actually unique because, first of all, we're actually liked by our citizens. Generally speaking, the citizens of Broomfield truly do love their police department. We see it all the time on social media. It's that prevalent here in Broomfield that people just generally enjoy having their police officers around. But the other part of it is we are so well taken care of because of the relationship with our citizens that our administration, the city manager's office, our city council truly embrace anything that's cutting edge from a technological standpoint, ensuring that we're always paid the best in the state, ensuring that our benefits package is always very competitive, that our training opportunities are always prevalent, always there and available to us. So it's a different sort of philosophy as opposed to just running employees constantly through your organization. They want long-term employees who will come here and stay here for 20, 30, and 40 years. So this is what's called a direct supervision model jail, which means that the inmates are never out in a common area unless there's a staff member there. And the theory behind that is, is that if I'm in the pod with the inmates, Every time that they're out, I can solve problems before they become big problems. Nobody wants to come to work and have to deal with fights, which is a very rare circumstance here. Nobody wants to deal with uh, defective equipment, things like that. So we address all those things on the front end and have a continuous quality improvement project that we run in the building to make sure that it's nice for us to come here too. I spent eight years in the military and in military intelligence. So the rank structure, the command structure, incident command, very easy to adapt to those because you get used to sort of that theory and how you work and solve problems. We build teams a year in advance, so it's very important that someone knows where they're going to be working 12 months in a rotating calendar. We don't shift rotate weekly or monthly like a lot of jails do. We rotate every four months. To keep it all fair, you can only work one graveyard shift a year, so you don't have people like a lot of jails that get hired and they'll be the low person on the totem pole. They'll be on a night shift for years, three, four, five years. Here in Broomfield, we make everybody sort of share that burden. And everybody does at least one graveyard shift, so it makes it more equitable and it creates sort of this family environment that we're all looking out for each other. It's a different dynamic. Our staff are our most valuable asset that we want to make sure that they're well taken care of.